Hello and welcome to the new video. Today we're going to take a look at XL Tutel in the Open Great League. We got some battles sent to us here. If you want to send in some battles as well, link is always in the description from every video. So definitely check that one out. But here we're going to take a look at the Tutel. Tutel is actually a little bit better than the Titan in the Open Great League, which is kind of interesting. They have the exact same um, yeah, moveset here. We're going to still have Ice Shot plus Avalanche plus Body Slam. But this time around, you're going to have a little bit more book, which is kind of cool. So this Pokemon is going to be very interesting. We're going to see here how this player is going to play it out. We're going to have a team of Shadow Swampert, the Talonflame, as well as the Zetoodle. I wonder what is going to be the safe swap here. Going to be a little bit difficult, I guess, to find a safe swap. Maybe the... Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's going to be Talon Flame, who knows. But we're going to see here the Flame Charge coming through. We're going to see also a shield coming up as the opponent, or like as this player is going to be able to just go for a full farm down. We see the Lantern coming back in. Fly does a little bit more than Flame Charge here, so I would most likely go for Fly myself. But yeah, it's not really the biggest difference anyway. You still will be able to farm down with the Swampert if you can. Let's see. Oh, you're going to go into the Satoodle and they're going to have the Talon Flame in the back. This is going to be a little bit of a trickier one, but you're going to be able to catch the move. Is this going to be a Fly or a Flame? Flame charge, it's going to be the flame charge, which is going to be a little bit more tricky here for you, but you can still go for one body slam. Can you reach the avalanche in time? You can, and this is going to get the knockout against the opponent's talent flame, I think. And you might be even able to win. Ah, oh, it is not. So sadly, we're going to lose the first match up here. Next opponent, we're going to see uh yeah, we're going to see the uh, best possible scenario for you right now. You're going to see the lantern, which is great, as well as now the say swap of the Dragonite against you. And Dragonite as a say swap is amazing for the Setoodle. Sadly, we're gonna see most likely the lantern coming back in for you, which is going to be not really an ideal matchup. But still, you can go ahead and go for the body stem, which is going to do some decent damage against the opponent, as well as you can realign, which is even more important. As you're going to have a talent flame in the back that does not want to face off against a lantern and so you're going to have a fairly decent time here. The surf is going to do some decent damage and you can even still reach a body slam. So Toodle is just a little bit of a bulky boy. And we will go, yeah, we're going to see here the swap into the Talon Flame now against the Altaria here, which is going to be a little bit of a trickier one, of course, as you're going to be able to go for some fly damage. Fly damage is going to do actually around half of the health of the opponent, but you're kind of still forced to go for... No, you actually got no shield. I did actually expect that you would go for a shield, but I guess this is actually a smart play. I don't know if this is going to be a smart play, but the opponent most likely going to shield anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, you're going to be able to now go for the Hydro Cannon. There might be even a range for the Hydro Cannon, which would be really good for you. They are not quite yet, but you can go for the full farm and they can still get to another charge move, but they don't throw it and so you win this game fairly certain they would have been already at a charge move there. So that's an interesting play. I think that's like 3 for 3 for basically the Lantern plus a uh, Dragon type. No, okay, like not for the first one. I think there wasn't a Dragon type. But here we're going to have again the Lantern plus an Altaria before we had the Lantern and the uh, Dragon Knight. But we're going to see again the Satoodle being able to go for the full farm down here, which is amazing. And now you're going to have a ton of energy. You're still going to have the same amount of shields as the opponent, which is even better for you as well. And we're going to see the Arctibax in the back. I feel like I've built against this team as well recently, kind of maybe a little bit more common now, but we're going to see as well the Avalanche coming through, doing way more damage, going to be neutral against the opponent, and this is going to do actually way more than I expected as well. So, the Talonflame going to have a great time here, especially as you know that you can just hardwall the opponent with the Swampert, this is going to be a very easy victory for you, as Swampert can just go for an Earthquake, and the Talonflame can just go for even a farm down, I guess, against the Arctibax. There is not a lot that the opponent can do here, even if they can get to something like two moves, which they don't because the Swamp is already going to get the knockout. It would not even knock out the, like, your own Talon Flame there anyway. Next opponent, let's see what they're going to run. We're going to have a Skeletor. So far, great leads for the Swampert for sure, as so we're going to see the swap out into the Frostless. This is going to be okay for you as well. I think you're going to be forced to throw a charge move though. Like usually you can um, farm down the frosts and five fast moves, but you gave the opponent a little bit too much farm before that. So it's a little bit tricky, but you can at least still get the shield here and the opponent most likely going to get the shield back. Oh, you actually can let this move go through. You still saw that this was a great play by you as you can now go for the charge move. Fly is coming through. This is going to do a ton of damage after the boost as well, which is going to be kind of nice for you as well here. We're going to see uh, a Bomberstone on the back. I feel like this is going to be a decent matchup for us 
Tootle. So Tootle is going to be very neutral against the Bummer Snow as you're going to see the yeah, Body Slam coming through, going to get the shield from the opponent. You can take an Energy Ball still, and so Tootle will be able to still reach another charge move. But you're going to let this move go through, hoping that Swampert can actually win this game. I guess an Earthquake might be enough already from this range. We're going to find out very shortly as the Earthquake is coming through. Gonna be able to get the knockout and we will see here in the back again the, um, yeah opponent Skeldurge coming in. One Hydro Cannon is all it takes to knock them out. You have the Hydro Cannon stored and we can see the knockout here. Swampert by far the MVP so far. Next opponent, we will see here the um, Lantern in the lead. Lantern in the lead going to be an interesting one again here for you as we will see the swap out into the Surfetched. Just made a video about Surfetched, definitely check that one out. Came out yesterday, so definitely make sure to check this one out. We're going to see the Incinerate plus the Flame Charge coming through. Flame Charge is going to boost the own attack and now you can just use a shield, farm them down and you should have a great time here as you're going to get out of this matchup with a Fly or an, like even a Flame Charge start, which is going to be nice as the opponent is swapping into the land and again of course you can get some damage in here which can help you to get them into range for just like two hydro cannons but the opponent is actually running the travenant in the back you go straight for the body slam don't know if this is the right call but the opponent does not really know it anyway and they decide to use a shield which is going to be amazing for you and at this point you got the opponent into a range for just one hydro cannon already which is amazing as well don't think that this really makes sense here to go for the body slam i would rather go for the um, avalanche, like even if you don't get to the avalanche, they're still in range for one hydro cannon. But maybe I guess you can now go for the full farm down, which helps out the opponent is going to decide to forfeit anyway. Next opponent, we're going to have the Deoxys defense in the lead. This is going to be a very neutral lead for you. I honestly don't like it as a Swampert because you know already the opponent can take a hydro cannon fairly easily. But you're not as well with the like high psycho boost here. Psycho boost does a little bit more damage. But you're gonna see a swap. Oh, this is unfortunate. Like this is really unfortunate. You have your Saturtle in the back, which is really waiting for those flying type Pokemon. And then you're gonna get a simultaneously swap here into the Talon Flame over this Turtle. That's unfortunate. Of course, not like a mistake by the player or anything like this. They just went both for the swap at the same time, and this was kind of unfortunate to get into this matchup. You're still going to be able to win it, but yeah, Greninja is going to be a tricky one as you can still go for a charge move the opponent guaranteed like going to chill this move up anyway but um you don't really have the best answers for greninja i would say so Satoodle kind of has to deal with it we're gonna see that they swap out into the deoxys again you cannot get to the move you're forced to use a shield here actually which is going to be even more annoying but you can overfarm by a little bit which is actually going to be okay for you you should have maybe went for one extra one but it is going to be okay as the opponent is going to go for a charge move anyway immediately like they're going to always win cmp tie here for the greninja but let's take a look here if you can take a hit here from the uh, greninja the hydro cannon is coming through and so Toodle is bulky enough to get there we can see the first body slam coming through can so Toodle win this game for you, you need just one more and it's going to be a cmp tie and with this sadly it's going to be a loss for the little round boy as the opponent even going to get a boost which doesn't matter at all Honestly, I feel like it's always kind of funny to see like those boosts after the game is already over. Like, I don't mind them. Like, it is like such a weird thing because like it's not really supposed to show, I feel like, but it's just fun to see when the opponent just still gets the boost. Like, nobody is really getting bothered by that. But um, I guess your Talon Flame is gonna get bothered by the Azumarill because Azumarill is not really something that the Talon Flame wants to see. But this like matchup is going to be a little bit better this season as you can just go for Fly without a drawback. They're still going to have to go for something like the Ice Beam at this point. And you were able to get the shield, which is kind of nice. But also, the opponent's gonna get a shield here, which I find interesting. I would have went for one more fast move here as well. Don't know if that would be too risky. I didn't really count the fast move from the opponent, but you decide to keep your talent flame around, which is an interesting play here. Play worth coming through, gonna get shielded, but you know what's not gonna get shielded? This incoming Brave Bird. Good. Oh, it's just a sky attack. Lame opponent, lame. This could have been a brave bird. This would have been your opportunity to shine, but no, you kind of want to still give the Swampert a knock on against the Skarmory. How could you? As you will see the Azumarill coming back in here, the bunny still lurking around. I don't know why this thing is not down yet, but it can take all the hits here as well. Is they gonna be able to reach another play rough in order to do some nice damage against Setoodle? But Setoodle has still a shield in the back with the name of Talonflame, and they definitely need the shield here against something like the Lantern. Not really the greatest matchup for the toodle it is tough in the current meta to be an ice type but the swap definitely worked out super well here 10 out of 10 a swap from this player and we will see the surf or the even the thunderbolt connecting here and this is going to be a good game 
of course, I'm always kind of joking here. Um, yeah, the uh, yeah the, the catch was kind of difficult to do as well. Like I'm, I'm of course just a little bit trolling here. But you're going to see a very interesting Pokemon here, which is also kind of looks like a troll. We're going to be the Dunsparce. Dunsparce may be underrated. It was like kind of considered as one of the more underrated Pokemon for the current meta. I guess you could say so. Like. I don't know how the matchup is going to be. Are you going to lose definitely against Garmory? So you're going to be able to win against Talonflame. You're going to be able to win against something like the Lantern, for example, as well. Here we're going to see the Hydro Cannon coming through. This is hopefully going to get the knockout against the Dunce Boss, and it is definitely going to get the knockout. And Noctowl is very interesting to see here in the current meta. Um, a very forgotten Pokemon, I would say. I guess, like, the opponent's team is kind of, like, Season 15, Season 16 team. More like even Season, season 15, so Season 15 wants its team back. But here we're going to see the Surf coming through from the Lantern. It's now all down to Swampert in the Citadel. Can Swampert secure the victory here, or does Citadel? will have to carry the weight again as always basically we see the shield coming up because Swampert cannot take a hit unlike the Satoodle and we will see the Hydro Cannon connecting doing some massive amount of damage and this damage is definitely needed as we will see that we're gonna put them perfectly into range for Satoodle to sweep this end game we're going to see the Satoodle taking on the Noctowl we will already see the Shadow Ball connecting but also the Avalanche is coming through and I don't think this is actually going to knock them out based on the damage of Ice Shot but yeah as said before I this is like a cool thing about um, having more than 30,000 battles and you can kind of estimate the amount of damage that the Pokemon does based on the fast move damage that you can see which is kind of funny just something that is just a little bit nerdy on me but let's move on to the next game before we can talk a little bit more about it. We're going to have here the Como. Como is not really something that you want to face, but uh, speaking of something that you don't really want to face, we're going to have a Zumral here as well. A Zumral, not really the Pokemon that you want to face either. It's going to do some very decent damage against the Talon Flame, but at least you're going to get rid of it before the Satoodle has to toodle around against it. But we will be able to even reach another fly, but not today. The opponent goes for the charge move in time. And we know already the moveset is going to be Play Rough plus Hydro Pump, so definitely be a little bit careful about this matchup and they are as this was most likely going to be the hydro pump because i didn't go for the ice beam you can kind of tell the moveset of them we see the hydro cannon coming through here this is going to be able to get the shield from the opponent I thought so, but it doesn't, and so it's down to Setoodle, Setoodle using a shield on a potential close combat, and we will see the final Pokemon being a Diggersby. I would not go for the Avalanche, I would go for the Body Slam, it's very likely that the opponent is gonna... I would be completely wrong, and I'm going to keep it in here. Embarrass myself, that's always great, because a great play by this player to predict that the opponent predicts, but um, yeah, like very weird play by the opponent to go for no shield if you have two shields left already. But it might open up a little bit of a door here because we see that Satoodle is going to be able to survive those moves. And we see also the Swampert trying to go for a full farm down. Is this a Scorching Sense? It is a Scorching Sense, but you can still get there and you can still see the move coming through. Is this going to be a tie? It looks like a tie to me, but it might not even be the case because Satoodle goes down before that. I feel like if Swampert maybe went for a move earlier, they might have been a little bit better off. Speaking of being better off, we're going to have the Celestial in the lead. This is going to be amazing for the Swampert, and I feel like there was a little bit of lag there as well. But we will see the charge move coming through, the opponent letting this move go through as well. And you're in a great spot as you're now going to have also the Frosters against your Swampert. Knowing that the opponent is going to be double weak to Swampert, you decide to swap out, which I definitely agree with as well. As they can now go for the full farm on with the Setoodle. Satoodle can take a Shadow Ball, but Satoodle cannot really take anything else. We will see the Charger bug bugging its way downtown. We see the Avalanche getting shielded, which is kind of smart by the opponent. But you can still reach another Avalanche, and I doubt that they're going to go two shields down here. So this is going to connect, going to put them into range where you can even go for the Incinerate down. What an interesting play, but I do agree with this play because... Yes, what are they going to do here? They are not going to do anything, and so it's going to be a good game. And also the end for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Nice showcase for us to Thanks for setting in those battles. If you have some interesting battles as well, feel free to submit them with the link in the description. But that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.